Choosing a topic for your English questionnaire. Hello, English learners. In today's lesson, we're going to delve into the fascinating process of designing a questionnaire. Our focus will be on the vital first step, choosing a topic for your questionnaire. This decision will guide the entire creation process, so it's crucial we get it right. Ready? Let's get started. The topic of your questionnaire plays a huge role in its success. It sets the tone, determines the type of questions you'll ask, and ultimately affects the responses you get. Choosing a topic isn't something to rush. It should be thoughtfully considered to ensure your questionnaire is effective and engaging. When deciding on a topic, consider what you want to achieve with the questionnaire. Are you aiming to improve your vocabulary in a particular field? Do you want to become more comfortable with colloquial phrases? Maybe you're interested in specific grammar points? By identifying your needs first, you can select a topic that supports your English learning goals. Choose a topic you are passionate about or genuinely interested in. This will make the whole process more enjoyable and increase your motivation to engage with the questionnaire. It can be anything from your favorite book, movie, or hobby to more academic topics like history, science, or culture. While it's essential to have a specific focus, make sure your topic is broad enough to generate a variety of questions. For instance, if you choose the topic, dogs, you can ask questions about breeds, care, training, and so on, providing ample opportunities to practice different aspects of English. If you're creating the questionnaire for others to fill out, it's also important to consider their interests and language proficiency level. You want to ensure the topic is appealing and the language used is neither too easy nor too hard for them to understand and engage with. So, there you have it. We've just covered how to choose a topic for your English questionnaire. Remember, the key points are Consider your learning goals Pick something you're interested in Make sure it's broad enough for diverse questions and consider the audience if applicable. We hope this guide is helpful as you embark on creating your own English practice questionnaire. Keep practicing and stay curious.